Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. And today, we're gonna to talk antennas. I've got a new build, and I think you're gonna like. So let's hit that intro, and we'll get to it. So this week I went to uh, Quartzsite, Arizona for Quartz Fest. Quartz Fest is a get together camp out ham fest and lots of activities. And while I was here, before I came, I started a project a couple months ago on a hex beam. Now I kiddingly call it the Chucky beam. It's not real well, but I, I've met him a few times from Buddy Pole and they had their Buddy Hex. I do not I did not design this to sell it, so I'm not, it's just kind of a joke with his friend Jason here at the uh, Course Fest. Jason from Ham Radio 2.0, and I'm here with him and Kevin. Um, he has his own channel, Bill, and Red Summit RF, and also uh, Frank. So while here, I decided that I would set my antenna up here and do my testing however better, good it could be. Unfortunately, there's a lot of noise here. A lot of, I think a lot of static in the area. But make sure you stick around towards the end because I've got a really great contact. I didn't have the camera on myself, but I did have the camera on Jason when he was making a, a, a contact with a good friend of ours from down under. So make sure you stick around to the end to see that also. Let's get started on the build. I'll show you what I built. I printed a, Okay, so I printed a bunch of stuff for this, this build, and I'll show you what I printed. I, I have pros and cons to the way I did this, and I'll talk about that later at, towards the end of the video on whether I would do it the way I did it, or whether I would recommend what I use to you. And I'll tell you right now, I probably won't, but I get a good alternative, I think, that would work for most people. So make, make sure you stick around towards the end of that also. And that contact is pretty awesome, guys, so make sure you check it out. Uh, we had so much noise in the band, it's hard to hear him, but we clearly got our call signs back from him. So make sure you hear that. It's just, it's, uh, in fact, it's really short, so it won't take a lot of time. Okay, let's look at what I built and all the parts that I used to build this, and then I'll show you everything else. All right, guys, so my latest project for antennas has been a hex beam that will do from six to 20. Uh, six total bands, I will probably only do four, maybe five. And uh, it all starts in the middle. And this is a bracket that I made. Actually, I made this bracket, uh, this part here, years ago. But since I got a 3D printer, I designed this and made this and printed it. It has one on the bottom also. There's all the U-bolts that hold the poles in. We'll show those later. This is a piece of pipe that I, I made this fit this piece of pipe because this fits over my mast and this gives it the strength that I need. I don't to totally trust the, uh, the printing. I did put gussets and stuff on here. I had one break, but it didn't break from side to side. It broke when it I, I just kind of Mickey Mouse something up to put it on to uh, build it just temporary quickly and it dropped and it broke this part up didn't have anything to do with side to side but with this in here it's it's got a bolt here and a bolt in the bottom to keep it from turning and that will keep it uh, it should not it shouldn't break now all right sorry it's been really really windy I'm doing this in my trailer because it's been windy outside and uh, uh, the quality of the video is, is you either get decent sound or you get decent video probably, but uh, 
and it's been dusty out. And so these are the guy wires. They uh, they go out to each each arm. There's six arms in in, in, a, in this hex beam. And what these do is they put tension on it to bring it up in that umbrella, that upside umbrella design. I printed these little pieces also. They go over the ends of the, the poles. And then each line is, is pretty much exact as I could get them the same length. I did hook it up. It, it looked beautiful. Uh, and then it rained at my house for three weeks. So I'm behind. I only have three bands done. And I'll show you. Let me show you the poles. So I bought all these poles there. Uh, I bought exactly, I bought six of them. They're supposedly, supposedly exactly the same. I probably won't recommend these. And I would probably recommend maybe you go, they're seven meter poles. The reason I use the seven is because I don't use the ends, but I, so I get a little bit stronger setup. I think if I was to do it again, I'd order mine from the DX Commander because I'm sure the quality of his is better. What I found is the joints on these are not exactly the same, and you'll see why that, I'll show you in a second why that makes a difference. I think it's still gonna work because they're not the same, but they're close enough, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So when you pull these out, you have a joint right here, okay? And that's where you twist it and lock it. Some of the joints, the well, the markings, like here's a mark for an antenna, uh, that's six meter right there. Sometimes it ended up here and here. So I may have a little bit of a problem. I'll probably just, for, I may have to, I don't know, I might have to make special ones for certain bands. So that kind of gives you an idea. These all go into that first piece I showed you, the, the bracket under the U-bolts and they, they're pretty sturdy. The material I use, I try to keep it light it's uh, that first part was like a pound and a half and these poles are pretty light you guys probably know what they're like so then I printed these so this is for 10 this is for six you can't mark it I I have different colors because it just happened to be whatever I had in my uh, printer and then this one's for 20 and if you look at them really close here they will go like this the wire goes in and down and I'm hoping that's gonna so they're gonna set like this and this this will be the outside this way, so the pull will come down and in. Now, your wires don't have to be super, super tight. They just have to be kind of straight. You want just a little bit of tension. And I haven't, like I said, it rained at my house for <laughs> about three weeks. I had a day here and there, and I didn't, I couldn't even get, my, my backyard was just a muddy mess. Not muddy, but just sloshy, I should, I should say, okay? So I have a, a bag of these. Because so you have, for six bands, you have six for each pole. Okay, six times, you know, 36 total maybe. Okay, here's my other ones. These are the bands I don't have cut yet. What else? I think that's, oh, 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 the mo one of the more important parts and one of the harder parts to build. And someone in the video will show you how to get these screws or bolts up in here. Okay guys, this is gonna be hard to do, but uh, I'm gonna try and show you <laughs> as I'm looking through the camera here. So here's my 5 8 it's a number 832, 5 8 of an inch long. I slip it into here, push it down to the bottom, and then I've got a spot right here where it'll stay, okay? So then I turn it the direction I want it, and you can see right here is the hole. So I'm going to go in from the end down here. And just so you guys know, if you don't watch this and you ask me how I did this and you don't look in the instructions, I probably won't answer your email. So this is going to be one of the harder ones. Like I said, it's a little bit harder because there it is. Okay. I just saw it there. Okay, there's the bolt. Now I just gotta get it turned. I'm upside down, so now I'm turning it. Okay, there's the bolt. I just lost it. It's a lot easier when you're not doing the recording at the same time, guys. I think 
them upside down again. There it is, right there. So you see the bolts through? So what I'll do is I'll put a little pressure on it. Get my nut. Start the nut. And I don't want to go too tight because it makes it hard to get it off. But just so I can get my fingers on it later. Then I take this end here. Just push it forward and pull it out. And then I'll take this. Slide this down and get as tight as I can while I'm holding the bolt or the screw. It's actually a screw, really. And then I'll get my wrench. Now, I'm not using the little star washers they said to use, but I am getting them tight anyhow. So I get this on there and I turn it by hand until I feel it get nice and snug, and then I'll just snug it up nice and easy. I don't want to put too much pressure on it, but just enough so it'll stay. And there you go, that's how it's done. Now on this in the six, I, I'm trying something to do like a quick attach. So I can just plug it in like a link dipole, uh, but I didn't have enough time to finish it. So this is six, 10, uh, 12, 15, 17, and then down here is 20. So your coax, and this was kind of, what's hard about it, it's not hard, you have to make each one, but getting the length as close as you can is really tough. And I, and I got the top one kind of loose. I don't think it'll affect anything though. And then it'll have a lead that will go to a uh, your coax. And at the bottom here, I even I even put a little hole in this to uh, get the bolt to go through that too. And then I've got the wires. Uh, I just put them on a board for now. And that's the three bands I have done. I'm gonna, I'll do something better than this later. Like I said, I just barely had enough time to get this going. All right, guys, we'll get on to the build. Next thing you might see is uh, putting this thing up. It's been really windy. Uh, we'll see if it lasts. My oxen lasted last year through like 40, 50 mile an hour winds. So hopefully this one can uh, hold up also. All right. here in a second because uh, if we can eliminate it, I can hear you better. Did you kill it? I killed yours. Oh, that's not it then. Roger, Roger. Hey, buddy. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for coming back. Sounding good uh, Good out here in uh, Arizona, USA. QSL. USL, Arizona, USA. That was pretty good. Though. Yeah. In here. He's come up. This is Hayden from uh, Australia. Two contacts in the book. M Radio DX, yeah. M Radio DX. Hayden, are you there? Are you there, Hayden? NJ7V here. Victor Kilo 7HH? Yeah. Victor yeah. Kilo 7HH. Victor Kilo 7HH. This told is me. November, Juliet, 7 Victor, over. The Chucky Hex is working. Hey there, Hayden. It's uh, uh, you're fading out. I didn't hear really anything other than the confirmation that you heard me. Uh, come again. This is November Juliet Seven Victor at Quartz Fest. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun building this. I'm still not done with it, as you saw. I don't have all the bands done yet, but. Um, would I do it the same way again? Now what I found on this trip was it was really, really windy here, more so than it usually is. And I think eventually I'm gonna go to some kind of spreaders that are much uh, smaller in diameter, maybe the same all the way, because this thing was catching some major wind. I don't remember if I got uh, video of it, but it was been in my, my aluminum pole over pretty well. Yes, I could, could have guided it, but I didn't have the time. I'm gonna fix my uh, my pole with pins. I don't trust the twist locks anymore. So that's something I'll upgrade and then I'll probably put some kind of a guiding system. But I am gonna to go to something different. The poles I used, I will put a link, as you guys know, under the title, 
in the description. A lot of times people will put links to things. I will put the link. You may be interested in these those fishing poles, which basically is what they are that I use for the spreaders, but you might be interested in for something else. So I will put a link to it. I will tell you it took me a week or two to get them. But it was from Amazon, so the quality is not great. Uh, what I found out is they were, even though they were all the same from the same place, they weren't the same. And the way I made my, if you remember how I made mine, my wire holders to slip over, it made it really hard because sometimes I couldn't get it where it was supposed to go because they were like that far off, it was on the next size smaller sometimes. Now, if you do want to do the same type of build, I would suggest uh, DX Commander sells a seven meter pole. And you don't use the full seven, but you buy a seven because you, you take out the weaker sections. And I would be more inclined to buy his next time. It might cost you a little bit more, but you get a better product. The other company also is Spider Beams. Spider Beams makes really nice stuff and they make a seven meter band also. So I would, I would use one of those two if you're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go something more like tent poles. And if I do update it, I would definitely make a video and show you guys what I did. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did, please hit that like. If you're new here, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and there's Frankie. And uh, he threw me off. Uh, <laughs> yes. But anyhow, like, subscribe, and hit that like, uh, hit that bell. Thanks everybody. 73 helps to catch your eyes on the airwaves.